I'm Dr. Dave Martin, and welcome once again to All Things Cyber. In this episode of All Things Cyber, we're going to take a look at multi-factor or two-factor authentication. We're considering what you need to do to secure your digital identity. We're going to start by taking a look at what is it. It's a security system. It requires average users like you and I to prove their identity using more than one factor of authentication. It's designed to improve user account security and most importantly to prevent fraudulent account access. How does it work? Well it requires three things. It requires who you are, what you know, and something that you have. Here's the process. First of all you log in, a user logs in, and the very first thing the computer asks is, do you have the correct username and password? If the answer is yes, if you have a second factor, which is a one-time password or a fingerprint or a PIN, that has to be correct for you to have a successful login. And you can see that if the answers to either one of these correct username or password or second factors a one-time password, a fingerprint, or a PIN is no, then the attempt gets blocked. How does it work with a common access card? Here we have a sample common access card from the United States government and Joe John C. has this identification. Well, the CAT card, the common access card, provides something you are, who you are, excuse me, and something you have. But your PIN, the number that you have to provide when you log in with a common access card, provides something you know. So here we have the, the three things to protect us. Who you are, something that you, you and only you have, and your PIN provides something you know. So how does it work with a bank website? Well, you provide a username and password, and once verified, the website will provide a callback to either your cell phone or another application, or it could be email. Then you'll go through a second verification through a one-time password or a fingerprint, or a six or eight digit code, and only then are you granted access to your account. Well, who uses two-factor or multi-factor authentication? As you can see here, pretty much everyone. Bank of America, eBay, PayPal, all of the major corporations use or provide the option to use multi-factor authentication. Why do we use multi-factor authentication? Well, uh, Microsoft did a study a couple years ago and found out that there daily is 4,000 ransomware attacks, 300 million fraudulent sign-in attempts, and 176 million malware attacks every single day throughout the world. Now, 81% of these breaches caused, are caused by credential theft, and 73% of all passwords created end up being duplicates. And they also figured out that 99.9% .9 of all attacks could be blocked simply by using an extra factor of authentication. So there you have it very quickly. That's what two-factor or multi-factor authentication is and what it can do for you. It can secure your digital identity. And please, I just ask you, use it for your peace of mind in this hostile digital world. Well, there you have it. That's all I have for today. Tune in for another episode of All Things Cyber. I'm your host, Dr. Dave Martin. We'll see you soon.